share what might have been part of your address to the team right before the, the champagne celebration after your win today? <coughs> um, just, you know, you know, we, we can say we're the best team in the best division this year, you know, and, and it wasn't easy. We all know that. Everyone in that room knows that. We took everyone's punches. Um, you know, we had some low moments, um, but, you know, tonight is to be celebrated. You know, it's not easy going through the American League East and survive and be the team, you know, especially when there's other teams in the division like the team we're playing right now. Um, you know, so I think we all understand that, you know, this is step one and, and we want to win a championship. That's our goal. Um, but tonight deserves to be celebrated, especially all the things you face in the course of the season and especially the adverse times. Um, tonight's a, a night now to pause and, and appreciate one another. Aaron, winning the division was the goal you talked about in spring training, the first goal. Uh, what was the feeling there as far as your counting down outs and just saying we're almost there? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm never, I'm never comfortable. You know, even in some of the leads, we got huge leads. I'm always, you know, um, so yeah, every out is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> big and, and, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a culmination of, of a lot of work, um, new members to the staff, um, you know, thinking back to the, you know, winter where you're having meetings, preparing, going through the lockout, not having contact with players. You know, this is this is a lot of hard work, and and a lot of a lot gets poured into this. Um, and we're now six, seven months into this, including spring training, and and uh, it, it's it's kind of that exhale and excitement because. Um, Again, I, I don't think at the start, not necessarily everyone had us pegged for this. Uh, Judge saw 33 pitches tonight. Just what did you think of the discipline he had? At the it was plate? great. You know, I thought he got some pitches to hit, too. He's fouling off some pitches, but his ability to lay off some pitches is close and out of the zone, um, you know, especially at the top of the order. You know, he, I mean, you know, four, what, four walks tonight? I mean, set the table. Um, I mean, it's just it's it's awesome to see the discipline that he's showing and just the consistency of at bats, you know, while he's going through this with all the attention around it. Um, so I keep saying he'll get there, he'll get it. Um, but but to see him rack up quality at bat after quality at bat is is impressive. Is that does that also seeing all those pitches? Does that help the other guys? to see them too if he's leading off you know I don't think there's any question you know I mean we talk about that all the time you know when you have a strong lineup that grinds pitchers down you know eventually it nets mistakes along the way or or you know makes a pitcher have to work that much harder um you know when you're having those level of at bats um I, I don't think there's any question that it over time is is going to be a good thing for the team and for the group and uh you know he's certainly he's certainly making it difficult on them anybody else judge said he wouldn't ask for a day off until you guys clinch so does he play tomorrow um i'm gonna go in there and start to sort that out um we'll see yeah. Because of the different format this year, and you guys could be, you know, would have a lot of time off. Yeah. Does that change your thinking how you might go into the last week? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, now we'll start to be strategic with, um, you know, obviously, on, I, th I think we're going to have five days off in between the last game and, and the start of the division series. So, you know, we'll probably take a, a day off, mostly as a group, after that last day, and then probably have some some form or shape of some inner squad live bp uh simulated type stuff for a couple at least a couple of those days um and just kind of map it out as we can and you know and, and and be a little more strategic with you know now how many games left do we have eight so eight you know you know kind of wanting to get certain guys in in certain situations you know 
you know, obviously want to get Britt and Chappie throwing and, you know, be a little mindful of starting pitchers and, you know, how far we want to push them and things like that. Those will be all things that we kind of talk about here and, and try to be strategic and strike that wanting to be really competitive with, with also wanting to be smart and, and preserve guys.